I'm proud to unveil Toowoomba Regional Council's 2020-21 budget and operational plan. In our role as Community Builders, Council's $567 million financial plan is designed to maintain and upgrade existing services and facilities. I thank my colleagues and Council staff for their work to develop a capital program valued at $215 million and an operational budget of $352 million. Council is aware of the financial, social, emotional disruption that residents have experienced and will face in the coming months. The coronavirus pandemic and recent natural disasters have forced Council to reshape our budget plans to focus sharply on how we can directly support communities across our region. Council has devised a dedicated $50 million pandemic response investment program that comprises of 64 projects that are being accelerated to stimulate economic activity across the Toowoomba region. Boosting local employment is one of the most constructive and immediate ways Council can help revive and sustain our regional economy. A capital allocation of $109 million emphasises Council's focus on renewing our extensive water, wastewater and road networks plus our community assets. $78 million is set aside to upgrade projects, while $28 million is allocated for new capital projects. Supplying safe drinking water to all residents is an essential and a non-negotiable service. Council is responsible for a water supply network of more than 2,046 kilometres of water pipeline that services 62,400 residential, commercial and council properties. Our focus on water security has seen Council budget for continued reliance on our water supply insurance policy, the Wyvernhoe Pipeline. Council is working with other levels of government to plan for alternative water sources to cater for the long-term future needs. We are waiting on the State Government to update on the feasibility of a southern pipeline that will supply water to Cambuya, Nobby, Green Mountain, Clifton, as well as ultimately connect to Warwick. The Toowoomba region's decade-long run of unprecedented growth will be seriously challenged by the pandemic-induced economic downturn. Our gross regional product broke the $11 billion mark for the first time in the year ended June 30, 2019. Council is determined to overcome the effects of this disruption with the assistance of higher levels of government and partner organisations such as TISBE, the Toowoomba Chamber of Commerce and Industry and their regional counterparts. We will work with partners across the region to deliver an increased range of training support to our businesses. There has never been a more important time for all of us to trade, to shop and to tour locally. Council will continue to play its part to offer extra support to local firms through our procurement policy. I repeat my call for appropriate and equitable funding allocations from the higher levels of government to support Council's ongoing program of rolling out essential infrastructure for our community. Council is determined to capitalise on its strong financial position to ensure we remain a destination of choice for families, for business, for investors and for tourists.